Yeah. All good, guys. All right, Emma, so um, this is an opportunity to travel with the men's team, but the chance to actually play on the same pitch in the same day was lost by the weather. Yeah, I mean, it's it's disappointing. I think, you know, as a club, we were really looking forward to sharing that game, you know, the two games together. And I think it's a big moment for us traveling as a group and as one club, it makes us, you know, feel a part of it and feel connected with the men's team, which is something really special. Um, but at the end of the day, the change is out of our control. Um, it's an odd time to play and prepare for, but we just have to take it for what it is. It's, yeah, not a controllable for us. How old were you when you played at nine o'clock in the morning last time? <laughs> I, I can't even answer that question, so I'm going to assume I was pretty young. <laughs> so what's the plan then? You've obviously got a day to kill tomorrow, and then you, will you watch the blokes play? Um, well, we'll train tomorrow, so you know we'll prepare just like we would any other game, training the day beforehand. Um, obviously, in terms of preparation, it will be a little bit different being away for a whole day like that. I'm not sure if we'll watch the men. It might be dependent a bit on you know the temperature and how we best prepare for our game, but I'm sure if we're not there live, we'll be watching them on the TV. The double headers, it must be something that you'd be pushing to, to have a lot more of. Yeah, I mean, they're enjoyable and I think from a spectator's point of view, it's really nice having, you know, a bigger crowd and more people at the games. But at the same time, there's a lot, lot else to take into factor. So, I mean, it's not always the best way to go about it. But yeah, it is really enjoyable when we can make it work. Uh, in all your time, yeah, Emma has this squad stack up. Looks, you guys, looks like you guys can give it a, a red hot crack this year. Yeah, definitely. I think we've got a really special group of girls this year. Um, the team camaraderie is really great. The culture's changed, and I think we're you know heading in a really good direction. So if anything's going to change, this is our year. Actually, it's quite open now with the results that happened over the last few days. And I mean, you, you did really well the last game, beating victory. So how high do you think you can go? I mean, for us, you know, we're, we're going into every game believing that we, we are good enough to win. And I think for us now, finals, aiming for finals is realistic and we, we're not going to accept anything less than that. And I think we spoke about it for a long time and I think for a lot of people, which is, you know, fair enough, may not have expected that that was something reasonable because we haven't done it before. But I think now we've proved that we are good enough and now it's just a matter of, you know, keeping that consistency through to the end of the season. Is everybody fit? We've got enough fit players at the moment and now, you know, our core group is fit. We've got, you know, a few injuries, but I think that's a part of any team and it's something you just got to deal with and that gives the opportunity for other girls to step up. It would have been good too that last time the goals were shared around a little bit rather than relying on Veronica. I know, I think it's a little bit of weight off her shoulders, which is nice, but, you know, now that Michelle's broken that seal, I think it's going to be shared around a lot more. Is she okay? Absolutely.